Welcome to the Eat Audio. Release your wolf. Ah, oh, jeez, not again. Oh. Um, hello. Hi. Uh, how are you? Yeah, that makes sense. Since you were sleeping and then suddenly just BAM! There's a giant sticking their head through your bedroom wall. I get that. Um, I'm sorry. What am I doing? Well, let's see. Would you believe I'm a house inspector? Yeah. Yeah, I inspect people's houses to make sure they're ready in case of a giant attack. I have to say, this place really isn't up to code. I might have to give you, um, a citation or something. No? Eh, not, not buying it. Yeah, it's worth a shot, right? Look, I'm awfully sorry about this. It was an accident, I swear. Well, um, I don't think it really matters how it happened, right? The past is the past. Uh, all right, all right. I might have been peeking into your window. I leaned a bit too far forward and stumbled, and yeah, head through the wall, just like it looks. I know, I know, look, it sounds super creepy. You know, maybe it is. Uh, it was just idle curiosity, though. I was just passing through and I saw your house. It looked really nice. Just the sort of place I'd like to live in. I mean, it'd have to be m much, much bigger, of course. A lot bigger. But I, I like the style you have going on. Anyway... I decided to get a better look at it. I was especially curious about the interior and how it looked. I decided to quickly peek in, you know, the window, and then I noticed you in your room. I sort of wondered what you looked like, and I leaned in, and... Uh, I guess you know the rest. An honest mistake. Well, yeah, I, I've heard humans don't really like it when giants travel through their territory. Something about worries of destruction of property. A bit like what actually just happened, I guess. I, you know, I sort of assumed it wasn't really about, like, you know, me and my kind in particular. You humans call... Pretty much any creature more than twice your size a giant. But there are a fair number of different races of giant. I'm a Gaios, and we're one of the smallest giant races, so I figured it would be fine. It's not like I'm a titan or anything. Those guys could have stomped your entire house in without meaning to. I'm small enough that I barely need to crouch down to look into a second story window. And besides... It's just so nice and cozy in human lands. The nice paved roads, the charming little villages, the rolling fields. If you tell me I can either take the long way home through the boring flat grasslands just to avoid humans, or I can just cut through the much more interesting and well-maintained human territory, I'm obviously going to pick the second one. But, hey, <laughs> here I am, gabbing on about myself. Why don't we talk about you for a moment? Oh, you want me to pull my head out of the wall? <laughs> Good one. You're pretty funny. Yeah, I'll get around to that eventually, of course. What else? Oh, oh, you mean you want me to pull my head out right now? I, um, hmm, you know, I'm not sure that's actually a good idea. No, no, I see your point. I can't stay here forever. Well, maybe I could, but you'd have to feed me, and I can eat quite a bit. But that's not what I mean. Oh, 
what I mean is that I'm concerned about what will happen when I pull myself out. I'm worrying the ceiling might... All right, all right. So impatient. Okay, look, I'm doing it. Mm. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Whew. That was close. The ceiling almost collapsed on you. See? That's what I was worried about. If I hadn't been here to catch it. Okay, okay. I suppose if I wasn't here, it wouldn't have collapsed in the first place. But that's not the point. The point is that you need to be more careful. Okay, okay. I need to be more careful as well. We both need to be careful. Everyone needs to be more careful. Who couldn't benefit from being careful? Hmm? Anyway, uh, I can't just stand here holding up the ceiling forever. Here, just let me... Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, whoa, hey, could, could you not struggle so much? I am trying to help you, you know. You're not making it very easy. Just let me grab you so I can get you outside. Oh, there. That wasn't so bad, right? Now, let me just let go of the ceiling and see how bad the damage is. Hopefully it's just a small... Oh, well, hmm, that is, um, well, that's unfortunate. I wouldn't have expected the whole house to collapse just from that one little hole. I wonder if I took out a support pillar by accident. I mean, the whole thing was an accident, but, oh, ah, never mind. Oh, well, um, <laughs> maybe I should just, you know, just go. I do need to actually be getting... Right, 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 of course. I don't want to just smash and run, as it were. I do want to help, of course, but, um, you know, I'm not really sure what I can do. I know how to build things, at least a little bit, but nothing as, you know, tiny and fragile as a human house. I don't think I could manage that. Oh, you know, but you might not need me to. I've seen humans gather together and build things before. You know, it's their job. I bet if you wait a little bit, someone will come along, see the mess, and decide to build you a brand new house. I, I think that's how it works. House builders are, you know, supposed to build houses, right? No, no, I'm pretty certain it'll work. Oh, but you can't just sit here waiting, can you? Until then, you don't really have anywhere to sleep. Hmm. Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. You can stay at my place until then. It's not really built for two people, but with how tiny you are, I don't think it'll be a problem. No, no, I insist. It's the least I could do after... Well, you know. Come on, come on, let's go. I don't live all that far from here. Well, you you might consider it far, but I can walk there pretty quickly. That's one of the nice things about being a giant. Everything's just so close together. You know, I've always kind of wanted a roommate, actually, but giants don't usually live close to one another since most areas don't, you know, have enough food to fill two giants' bellies. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. Say... How long do you think it'll take for your new house to be rebuilt? Maybe two weeks? Not that I'm complaining or anything. I'm just wondering if I should set up a more permanent accommodations. Oh, don't be so pessimistic. I'm sure you'll have a brand new place before you even know it. I'll take you back here to check in after a while. Say, uh, I did sort of interrupt you in the middle of the night, didn't I? You know, you should get some sleep. Here, uh, is it comfortable if I hold you like this? W would you be able to sleep? Oh, shh, 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 Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Everything's going to look much better in the morning. I just know it. Get some shut-eye, little human. 
You're acting pretty grouchy, actually. I think you need it. Good night.